So here we are, we're in the parking lot of the uh, Holiday Inn Express, uh, just outside Lansing, Michigan. Michigan. It's the first day of the trip. Today's a travel trip, tomorrow we'll get really into the meat of our story, which of course is try to investigate some of these American-style labor laws that Tim Hudak is uh, threatening to bring to Ontario. Laws which many labor leaders here and in Canada uh, say are just going to lower everybody's wages and reduce everybody's working conditions simply a race to the bottom but uh, we'll get to that tomorrow when we start doing interviews uh, today we left toronto early seven o'clock uh, we headed for the border crossing at sarnia it's not a simple thing you might like to know uh, trying to cross the border if you're a camera crew uh, there's a lot of paperwork involved you have to declare every single piece of equipment you're carrying you have to put it into a document you have to check it in at both the canadian and the american borders if you don't do that uh, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting back into Canada with that equipment. So that took us about an hour and a half. By about 1.30 we were on the road and uh, headed towards Lansing. But on the way we saw a sign that said Flint, Michigan. And we decided to take a, take a jog into Flint. The reason being is that Flint is really a textbook, textbook example of a place uh, that really tells you a lot about what's happened to unions in, in America in the last 20 or 30 years. Uh, formerly about 30% of workers in America in the USA were organized. Now it's 9%. And with Flint, what happened there to start with was that the big automakers, the big American automakers that used to be the backbone of Flint, all discovered they could uh, uh, get workers cheaper in Mexico. And they moved a lot of that production down to Mexico. So that, that really took the good out of Flint and today, as we traveled through that city, uh, we saw the results of that. Uh, home after home, boarded up, gutted, uh, occupied by people that used to work at some of these plants, uh, people that used to have good paying jobs that can support their families, uh, good union jobs, and now most of the, those union jobs have uh, disappeared, not just fled someplace else, but actually disappeared. Uh, into Mexico or into other parts of the United States of America. So that's, that's one part of this piece. The other piece is uh, a lot of the legislation in the U.S. Uh, is what we would consider in Canada, uh, given our history, uh, to be legislation which would undermine unions. And in Michigan, they just passed something called a right to work law. They're the 24th state to do it. Uh, and that's really what we're here to investigate because that's one of the proposals that Tim Hudak has in his uh, armory, and we will get that tomorrow. Starting at the Capitol, state capitol tomorrow, we will talk to a, uh, a state employee who's going to tell us about what his fears are now about his wages and his working conditions now that this uh, right to work law has been passed here in Michigan. Uh, last thing I want to tell you is that uh, we have a lot of really fun technology. Uh, we actually have uh, something called a GoPro camera this little camera here and uh, this is something that we can take and we can uh, and we have mounted on the dashboard of our car so as we travel down the road uh, we can actually uh, catch America the signs the roadway we're on a road trip so after all we need this this camera uh, it actually works like this uh, so if I was to shoot it this way which is what I'm doing right now you'd see this rather distorted image uh, but we'll also show you some of the images which will take us uh, all the way down to uh, uh, through Columbus, Ohio, then down to South Carolina. Uh, it's going to be about a two-week trip, a trip of discovery, uh, and try to throw some light on uh, what these laws that Tim Hudak is suggesting that he's going to bring to Ontario really mean. Uh, see how they actually work in, in the United States, and you can make up your minds then whether or not you really uh, want them. Uh -huh.